Hello, my name is Minx. I'm going to try not to talk too fast, but I also don't want to waste your time with uh, unnecessary stuff. Um, so there will be a link to the uh, uh, gameplay uh, out, uh, that displays these changes in the uh, description. So if you want to check that out, you can. Otherwise, um, we're going to take a look at the code. Then we're going to hop into the game and test it out. And then we will... Uh, um, that, well, that'll be it, I guess. So, um, we got a few changes here. Just want to go over the updates real quick. Uh, we got a couple extra settings. Um, so a new prefix setting and a should enemy spawn naturally. So, um, one thing that bugged me while using this, and I don't know if it bugged anyone else was, um, the, if I would accidentally say something in chat here, if we go in here, if I accidentally typed in, minimize the commands here, oops, not all of them, just the, I don't want to see. Get out of here. There we go. Um, if I accidentally typed in spawn and or SPWN or SPWAN um, enemy five or whatever, you know, something like that, um, it would show in chat. It'd be like, what is that? Um, you know, uh, it's like, what the heck? Uh, so I kind of fixed that. So my method to fix it is add a prefix. So if you prefix your message with the command prefix, then it won't say anything. So slash, um, so slash spawn uh, SPWN instead of SPAWN um, will say, hey, it starts with a slash, you try to do a command, it failed, but we're not gonna post it in chat if you said not to. So um, if you accidentally fail to type the command in properly, um, for example, uh, and you had it set uh, to uh, uh, like this, where it says, hey, don't send anything, then it won't do anything, but it also won't send anything in chat, which is nice. Um, so that's a nice fix. Um, I have to do a little bit more here to make it so that if you don't have a command, because you may not have a uh, thing, if you want to get rid of the prefix, um, you can go in here and get rid of the slash, um, then it should detect that and not mess with you or not bug you about it. Um, because as of right now, if you were to get rid of it, it would say, hey, the prefix is nothing. So um, I'm not sure if it would execute anything or always go into this if statement. I'm not really sure I haven't bothered testing it because it's not supposed to function this way right now. Um, it needs to be fixed. So that'll be fixed up right before post because I already have the lines of code uh, needed in my brain. Um, it's just a simple, if there is no value, ignore it. Um, but um, the other thing with commands that has changed is we have a couple extra things. So I believe the original one was only spawn. I don't remember if there was anything else in the original one. Um, I may have had the weather effect thing, uh, but uh, definitely toggle lights and buy. So toggle lights does exactly what that. Um, it doesn't toggle the ship lights, it toggles the interior lights. Uh, so if you go inside, you could mess with everyone by toggling lights. It's like nobody touched the breaker box, nobody touched the, uh, um, what do you call that light thing? Um, but they turned off and you can turn it back on. Um, buy allows you to buy all of the items, including the new one. So you can buy any of those and um, you can buy either multiple. It's very similar to the uh, enemy thing. You can buy multiple via name. You can buy single via name or you can buy single via ID. Um, so here are all the items. You want to buy flashlight, a pro flashlight. You type in buy flashlight. It will not go to a normal flashlight unless you say buy normal. The understanding is if you try and buy it, uh, buy a flashlight with this, you want the pro ones. So if you want a normal one, you have to be explicit about it. Um, and then, so that's it. A uh, couple things to note with this is it does not change your group credits. However, if you have the credit mod on, you may mess with other people's credits. So for example, if you're a client and someone else's server, if you're not the host, you go up and touch the terminal and no one else buys anything. Your credits will be, if you have the credit mod on, your credits will be set to whatever this thing says credit should be. I forget what it is. Infinite, uh, never this credits. It says 50,000. But that won't be synced to the server. If you send this command with your terminal saying 50,000 credits, it will sync them with the server. So you have two options. Firstly, if you have the credit hack on and you don't want to mess with someone else's uh, server's credits, don't touch the terminal and this will be fine. It will not, it'll sync with whatever they have and it'll be fine. If you accidentally touch the terminal, don't buy anything, don't send this command, 
wait for someone else to fix your credits by syncing their credits with yours. Um, or finally, turn off the credit hack if you're going to use this and you don't want to mess with credits to be 100% safe. Um, because if you don't have the credit hack on, this is going to be whatever the it's it's just going to be free items. That's all this is. Um, one additional thing here um, is when you buy items server RPC, it doesn't do what the terminal does to buy them. It technically does, but it skips a step. So what the terminal does is it adds the items to list. When you call buy, it just adds them to the A, essentially. I This is a locally defined A, but um, when it calls the buy items RPC, it has this own list. It has its own array, not list. I use list because it's easier here. Um, but it does that, and then eventually it'll call the buy item server RPC um, with the completed list. What we do here is skip all that. You buy this, it gets sent directly to it, and it sends that dropship down. Um, that's really the big thing there. Um, so if someone were to buy something and then you call this command, depending on when you call it, your items might take precedent, your items might come in right afterwards in a second dropship, they will not get added to that dropship. I may change that later, but as of right now, I really don't care enough to do it um, because there's a little bit of extra math that I really don't feel like figuring out at the moment um, because then you could cause issues. The idea behind this command is it works every time. You are always going to get your items to come in when you call this command, um, which is nice. So let's hide this one, get out of the command section because that is it for commands. We'll take a look at all these in game in a couple minutes here. Um, let's move on to hide this, the modify level. So the setting for um, toggling enemy natural spawning. So if you set this to true, this if statement will not run, meaning enemy spawning will function like normal. Um, so it'll spawn enemies based on whatever math that the developer has set. I haven't bothered to look through all the math, but it is a lot of variable chances, so you don't get the same thing every time. If you set it to false, which it is by default false, it will do this, but it also does something else now. Um, so it takes enemies. So right now it's just the jester. I haven't written it out. This was just for testing, um, but it does work. Um, not all levels can spawn all enemies by default. So if you go to experimentation, you can't spawn a jester. However, if you go to rend, a jester does spawn. We yoink that reference from the uh, enemy's pool. And we take it and we go back to experimentation and or any other map that doesn't have it. We say, hey, there's no jester here. Do we have a jester reference? Yes, we do. Let's add it. If not, so if we just go to experimentation, it'll just say, hey, we couldn't add a jester to this level. Um, my plan is to do that for every enemy so that every enemy can be spawned on every map for the game master. Um, that's why this is under this if as well. Um, firstly, it's because it's in the 4-H loop, but uh, because... If you're doing Game Master, you want to be able to spawn whatever you want to spawn. And Jester's really fun. Like, it scares the heck out of people, especially with the custom settings. So um, that's pretty much it for the changes. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's hop in game here. All righty. Online. Host. And I know I put this on the GitHub. I apologize for the structuring of the code. There's absolutely no structure. The only structure is I write method to override method and be done. No extra classes or anything. And I, it's a messy. Um, I know. So um, we're on rend, so we don't have to worry about the uh, um, one thing happening uh, where it needs to. It will get. It'll gather a reference. In fact, we can. Uh, um, oh shoot. In fact, we can uh, see it gather the reference here in a couple seconds. Um, go in. Okay, so what? Where'd it go? It's calling that. Hold on, let me uh, this will pause the game, I believe. Go to my notepad here. We'll go into here, paste it, find Jester. Found Jester, yoinking that reference. So going back to the code real quick, uh, we see it found a Jester, it sets this, and it does work. I know from testing it works, just a 
Um, but yeah, so let's go uh, by Pro 4. And if we go back into it here, we can see it says by Pro 4. It, that's the list. Uh, there is some weird stuff going on with like zero index stuff. And I, what do I do here? Oh, there we go. Sorry. With Bepin X, if you do that with the window, it freezes your game. Um, but um, it was some weird stuff going on with Langs. So that's good. Let's wait for it. So we bought four flashlights, pro flashlights in particular. And if I'm not mistaken, we only had 91 credits. So we go back in. We should still have 91 credits, right? Yeah. All right, let's go inside and mess with some weather and some lights. So I know I lo we looked at the weather effects. Um, and with the weather effects, they don't always work. So right now there is no weather as far as I know. Um, it doesn't look like it. So let's say weather, weather is stormy. And it says try to change the weather to stormy. It did change the variable. So if we go inside. Inside, it's stormy. But this is client side only. And it doesn't do anything more. So we do weather none. Go inside. There's also no hazards as a result of it. Um, because there's no RPC for it. So it doesn't do anything else. Um, so that's that for that command. Let's do toggle lights. Wow, that is dark. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. That would be messed up. Um, so if you really want to... That is crazy. I had not done this inside of here. Toggle the lights. Jesus Christ. Like out here, like, yeah, it's dark in this room like usual. But this is really messed up. Like, dang. <laughs> you can barely see. Like, you got like a cone. Um, but yeah, all that stuff still works. Everything's looking good. I'm not going to go in and mess with the enemy spawning variable. Um, it's all handled inside this, uh, shoot. Where'd it go? Come on. There we go. Um, inside here. So you mess with your settings. You got your prefix, which will be updated. Um, it'll be default slash. And then in the host settings, natural spawn true will naturally spawn enemies. False will only use game master. You could still use game master if uh, enemies are spawning naturally. Um, so you don't have to worry about that because it bypasses all logic to prevent spawning. It is a full manual spawn. So that is pretty much it for the changes. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any more requests, feel free to drop a thing in GitHub or feel free to drop a comment here saying, hey, this doesn't work or hey, could you add this? And I'll be more than happy to see about doing so. Um, but for now, thanks for watching and have a good day.